Hello guys, welcome back to Chris Poly channel. This video I want to share about Atorxion Co-op Dungeon Valmalkea. Okay, to enjoy watch my video, make sure you turn on this video subtitle and also you can use timestamp that I already provide to go to target topic that you want. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on bell notification to get any update and guide on Black Desert World. Okay, let's start this video content using any feature that I provide. After 21 July 2021 update, we just got major update Atorxion Dungeon Valmalkea. Actually, Atorxion Co-op Dungeon Valmalkea is one from for part for this Atorraxion Dungeon. And to start this Atorraxion Dungeon Valmakea, your character must have level 57 or higher and complete questline Invitation from I. If you haven't finished this Invitation from I questline, you can check on my previous video about this Invitation from I questline, prerequisite quest for Atorraxion Co-op Dungeon. And also your character must complete either Awakening or Succession questline. Okay, after you fulfill all requirement, you just need to call your Black Spirit and go to main quest menu. You will see this special quest Atorraxion SOS from Yatch. Okay, just take this quest. Actually, this quest you can find it on your main quest tab. 5% co-op The Last Stronghold Atorraxion. This main quest have 48 quests that you need to do for the first time. And this quest is available for each character. So you can do this main quest one time per each character. And you can do it multiple times in your family. If you finish this Atorraxion Valmalkea main quest, you will get Enhanced Scroll plus 100 and also find magic crystal box. And in this video, I will focus how to finish this 48 quest for this Atorraxion Valmakea Co-op Dungeon. But be notice if you do this Atorraxion Co-op Dungeon on Elvia Realm server, this Co-op Dungeon will be more difficult than normal server. So make sure you choose server to finish this Atorraxion Co-op Dungeon. And also after 28 July 2021 update, they just removed that penalty when you doing Atorraxion Co-op Dungeon Valmakea on seasonal server and normal server. But be notice if you do Atorraxion Co-op Dungeon on Elvia Realm server, this dead penalty still apply. Okay, after you get this quest Atorraxion SOS from Yats, you just need to Heidel City at Valley Lily Inn and meet this NPC, Lowen. You just need to talk and finish this quest. And then you just take another quest to finish this quest line. I think I will fast forward this video to faster this video. You just need to talk to target NPC and finish this quest. Line. And the most interesting for this Atorraxion main quest, all character on this main quest have full voice actor, so you can hear any conversation with all NPC on this co-op dungeon main quest. Okay, after you reach main quest Atorraxion Talibretir, you will get this lost recipe Talibretir. Actually, if you open this lost recipe Talibretir, you will see some clue to craft first key to enter Atorraxion dungeon. Actually, in future, if you want to finish this main quest for this Atorraxion dungeon, you will encounter some key inside this content. And to finish this Atorraxion dungeon content, I already make some schematic to explain step by step to craft its key for this content. Okay, to finish this quest, we need to craft this Talibretir as key to enter Atorraxion dungeon. And to craft this key, you need Firehorn, Powder of Flame, Liquid Crystal Region, Blackstone Powder, and Trace of Despair. Each item you need 49 pieces to craft this Talibretir using Heating in Processing Menu. Okay, just open your Processing Menu and go to Heating and just choose any ingredient that you need. After all set, you just need to start processing and after wait a while, you will get this Talibretir. As you can see, this is the item Talibretir. And then you just need to talk with this statue and go to Chat and you will finish Partial of this quest and keep talking until you finish this quest and after that just keep talking but be notice before you teleport to enter this Atorraxion dungeon make sure you have some preparation like any food buff, elixir buff and crocodile host gear buff because after you teleport to this Atorraxion dungeon if you go outside you need this key Talibretir again to enter this Atorraxion dungeon again okay after already you just need to teleport to Atorraxion dungeon and continue your adventure on this Atorraxion dungeon and be notice when you enter this this attraction dungeon, you still on your server, but you cannot open any mid, either storage mid or market mid. But don't worry about potion. Inside this attraction dungeon, there are some NPC vendor that you can use to purchase some potion and also to repair your equipment if your equipment broken inside this attraction dungeon. Okay, just continue this quest and just keep talking and follow this main quest until you get this quest from Black Spirit Attraction: The Story to Far that you need to defeat Paha Remnant Ancient Weapon 30 pieces. You just need to go to this floating cube and moving around until this floating cube spawn its 
monster and you just need to kill all this monster to finish this quest and starting at this point you can party with five party member to more easy kill every monster on this area and after you finish you just need to report this quest to target npc and just continue your main quest and then next quest start at the maze you need to kill ancient weapon 30 pieces again okay just kill any monster around this area and after you finish you just need to go to target location to report this quest and you will find this area and just report this quest to continue this main quest and after you reach this main quest attraction purpose you just need to talk with this statue faha sky soul magia and click chat and choose examine the glowing spear and you will finish partial of this quest and just keep talking and then click chat again to listen to yacht talk on the glowing spear and you will finish this quest and after that you just need to talk with yacht's npc to finish this quest and take another quest from black spirit okay after you reach this quest attraction broken bones you need to balance these two statue by putting any box on this circle if you put some box on this circle you will see these two like pillar will moving and you need to balance both of this pillar after this pillar balance you will see this notification you untangle a treat bigot by kinship inspire fight and this cube will appear you just need to talk with this cube and click chat and check the integrated data but be notice you need 10 energy to interact with this cube to finish this quest and after that you will finish partial of this quest and then you just need to talk with this statue faha sky soul magia and choose this interaction solve Faha Trip Broken Bones and you will finish this quest and after that just talk with Yats NPC again to finish this quest and take another quest Atoraxion, Dehkia and Dehkima okay to finish this quest you just need to talk with this Faha Sky Soul Magia again and try using the Soul Magia and you will finish this quest and then just report to Yats NPC and take another quest Atoraxion, Falmakea okay to finish this quest you just need to keep talking with Yats NPC and then you just need to summon your Black Spirit to report this quest and then take another quest Atoraxion, Blueprint okay just auto pet and keep talking with any NPC to finish this main quest and then take another quest Atoraxion, Activation okay to finish this quest you need to kill 30 ancient weapon again okay just kill any monster on this area after you complete you just need to auto pet to report this quest and then take another quest attraction faha her okay to finish this quest you just need to auto pet to talk this faha storm soul magia and click chat and then just choose interaction examine the soul magia and you will finish this quest and then just keep talking to finish this quest and then you will automatically call your black spirit to take another quest attraction unacceptable imitation okay to finish this quest you just need to follow this path and climbing on this area you will find this orb with four circle and at the center of this circle you will see some monster that you cannot hit and actually this monster moving to give you some code that you need to record and you can mark this circle from my view if this circle is number one in this middle circle is number two and the third circle is number three and you need to watch carefully this monster movement if this monster swing its sword like this it's mean number one and if this monster swing its shield like this this is means number two and the last if this monster storm its shield like this this is means code number three and this is will create nine digit pattern you just need to step on this circle and as the indicator you or this step on the right circle you will see this yellow dust on this circle as you can see if you find have same number you just need to step out on this circle and step it back as you can see after you success to finish this puzzle you will see this notification you untangle a trait bigot by echo of need and envy and then you just need to talk with this orb again and click chat and check this current data you need 10 energy to interact with this orb and you will finish this quest and be notice you don't need to do this puzzle in party if someone success this puzzle all party on this area in this server can interact with this orb and finish this quest okay after that just go back to yats npc to report this quest and choose any reward that you need after that take another quest attraction faha dried fang okay to finish this quest you need to craft faha dried fang as i mentioned on this schematic to craft this faha dried fang you need to simple alchemy 10 pieces faha cold Tron that you get by killing any mini boss at attraction dungeon so you just need to open your processing window and go to simple alchemy and choose this faha cold Tron and start processing after wait a while you will get this faha dried fang actually you need this faha dried fang to go to faha heart 
from Fahastrom by interacting with this Fahastrom Soul Magia, but be noticed only party leader need to use this item to unlock this key, and all party member can through this barrier. And after you enter this Fahahar, you just need to auto pad to talk with this NPC and click chat and examine this item, and you will finish this quest. And then just go to another area to report this quest by talking with this statue Fahahar. Attraction exchange, but be noticed with this NPC, you can use service to purchase some potion from each shop and also repair your equipment with this repair menu. And then you will automatically talk to Black Spirit to get another quest, Attraction Shattered Memory. And to finish this quest, you just need to climb beside this wall. After you reach another area on this wall, you will see another puzzle. For this dungeon, actually this puzzle is simple. When you activate this orb, some blue light and red light will appear on this tower, and you need two person to take note for each light that appear on this tower. You just need to code this tower is number one, number two, number three. And number four. Okay, as you can see, I just take note for red light for this sequence. And after this sequence end, you will see this four pillar will decide which code that you need to use. As you can see, this four pillar just give signal for red light. So you need code from red light to apply for this sequence. In my case, this is my code that I record for red light, and I just go to interact with its tower in sequence that I already take note for this code but be notice you must act as fast as you can because there are some timer to do this sequence as you can see I just got late and I need to start this sequence once again and after you success to solve this puzzle you will see this notification you untangle a trip be got by convention and then you just need to interact with this orb and get this knowledge but be notice you need 10 more energy to do this interaction and you will finish partial of this quest and then just report back to this NPC and another quest attraction forgotten foe and just keep talking to finish this quest and just auto pad to martakian npc at this area and then take another quest attraction unexpected okay to finish this quest you just need to interact with this circle near this orb and you will finish partial of this quest and just keep talking and you will finish this quest and after that just go to yet's npc at another side of this circle to finish this quest and then just talk to your black spirit to take another quest attraction co-op recover foe okay to finish this puzzle after you interact with this orb in the middle you need five member to finish this puzzle because one person need to standing in this circle and another one in this circle and another one in this circle and the last one in this circle so you need four person to standing on circle around this area and you will see this notification will appear and you just need to switch to another member to activate this orb again because if one of this circle didn't got step this middle orb will not activate so you must switch between your party member to activate this orb when another party standing on its circle around this area. But if you got back, all party member must step out from this circle and then reparty again and then just step again to this circle and try again. Or sometimes chance server or go to character selection can solve this bug. And then if you interact with this orb, you will finish this quest and get this knowledge part of unity. And don't forget to switch to your party member so another party member can finish this quest and get this knowledge. Let's do. Okay, after that you just need to call your black spirit to report this quest and then take another quest attraction to Faha Heart. Okay, to finish this quest you just need to go to target area to interact with this statue Faha Heart Soul Magia and you will finish this quest and then just calling your black spirit again to report this quest and take another quest attraction Faha Burning Fang. Okay, to finish this quest you need to craft Faha Burning Fang. As I mentioned on this schematic, to craft this Faha Burning Fang, you need to arrange this Faha Dryad Fang with Searing Herpes that you can get this Searing Herpes from special mini boss Kraten at Faha Heart. As you can see, this is Kraten, the biggest monster on Faha Heart. If you didn't see this Kraten, you can summon it by killing any monster that spawn around this area. And after several time, this Kraten will spawn, and you just need to kill this mini boss to get searing her piece but be noticed only five player with the highest damage can get this searing her piece because if so many people kill this monster other than five player who deals damage to this monster will not get this hurt and then you just need to turn off your auto arrange on your inventory and then arrange this item using this arrangement and then just click this plus button and you will get this Faha Burning Fang. After that, you just need to interact with this statue and insert this Faha Burning Fang to unlock this barrier to go to Faha Head. As you can see, this is another area for this attraction dungeon. But continue for this quest, you just need to interact with this statue on Faha Head and you will finish this quest. And then you will automatically call your Black Spirit 
and take another quest atau raksion expectation face reality Okay, to finish this quest you need to craft another key faha twisted fang actually this is continue key that you need to craft from faha burning fang you need frozen cell of reason that you get from ahten special mini boss at faha head and to summon this ahten you need to activate this puzzle by interacting with this orb in the middle and then for tower around this area will appear tower by stepping on this button and when you step this button this tower will rotate and you need to point this tower to this orb until its tower activate its laser and after all tower active you will activate this puzzle and spawn some monster you just need to kill any monster around this area and after you clear first wave for this monster another wave of monster will appear and you just need to clear all monster for the second wave once again and after you clear the second wave this special mini boss will appear ah ten and to kill this special mini boss you need to do some mechanic you will see three tower once of them is fire of hypocrisy that have red light and another tower is fire of arrogance that have blue light and another tower is fire of the said that have yellow light and you need to damage this Ahten continuously until you find some notification that this Ahten communicate with some tower for example you will see this notification Ahten communes with fire of arrogance so you need to go to fire of arrogance and if you destroy this tower in time you will see this notification the fire overload causing Ahten to lose its power momentary if you got this notification you just success to cancel this Ahten to get power from this tower and you just need to DPS this monster during this short time period and as you can see there are some notification again Ahten communes with fire of deception so you must destroy the yellow tower fire of the said but if you do let this notification will appear Ahten grow stronger by absorbing the fire of power so you just need to keep DPS this Ahten and wait until further notification and after you success to kill this monster you will guarantee to get this frozen shell of reason and also paha whispering bell you can get both of this loot from this Ahten mini boss after clearing this puzzle and then you just need to arrange this paha burning fang and this frozen shell of reason using this arrangement on your inventory to get this paha twisted fang as you can see you just need this arrangement to craft this paha twisted fang and just click this plus button and you will get this faha twisted fang and then you just need to go to this statue and click chat and just examine this faha head and you will finish partial of this quest and then your party leader just insert this faha twisted fang to this statue to unlock this barrier and you just go to another region of this attraction dungeon Faha Garden and then you just need to interact with this statue to finish this quest and take another quest Atoraxion Co-op Faha Garden and then you can accept weekly quest Lucretia Ruby from this statue actually this item to finish this weekly quest to get final reward for this Atoraxion dungeon and then to proceed to another region you need to interact with this statue and insert Lucretia Dagger and you can craft this Lucretia Dagger by combining this Faha Twisted Fang with this Faha Whispering Bell that you get before by killing Ahten at Faha Head you just need to arrange this item using this arrangement as you can see I just arrange this item using this arrangement and click this plus button to get this Lucretia Dagger and after that its player must insert this Lucretia Dagger at this statue until all player insert this dagger party leader can confirm this entry and you will teleport to another area but be noticed before you enter this area make sure you prepare your 10 buff because when you enter this last boss area you cannot deploy your 10 anymore and after party leader accept this entry you will go to the last boss room okay inside this last boss room you just need to go to this cube to finish your quest and then take another quest Atoraxion Faha Cardel and you just need to interact with this cube to finish partial of this quest and just keep interacting until you finish three part of this quest and last part you need to kill this last boss but you can interact with this statue to purchase your supply potion and also repair your equipment actually to kill this boss have heavy mechanic because there are two part of this boss either this human and this dino I recommend to split your party in three group one group with two party member to handle this humanoid boss and another two party member will handle this dino boss but make sure you spare these two boss in its side and make both of them spare from another location because if these two monster go too close this boss will unleash some wind to damage all your party member continuously and the last party member will stay behind this wall to kill any chetus monster that will spawn around this area and make sure this chetus monster didn't go too near this boss because chetus monster that spawn will heal this boss and also this last party member must hit three tower that spawn around this area 
area to make sure that tower didn't active and also if your party member die when try to killing this boss that party member cannot revive itself and also cannot be revived by another player so that fallen member just wait until end of this battle either success or got wiped so make sure you didn't die when encounter this boss in three phase okay for first phase for this boss you just need to balance this boss HP both of humanoid and dino until 50% and after both of dino and this humanoid reach 50% this dino and this humanoid monster will freeze and you will go to phase 2 of this boss as you can see actually these two boss will merge to become one and go to middle of this area and for the second phase you just need to do damage to this boss until this notification appear and for tower around this area will appear as you can see this tower have some color and also some orb will appear around this area and be notice make sure you avoid this floating stone because if you touch this floating stone this stone will explode and make your character knock down and also get some damage and you must catch this orb that floating around you and match this color orb with this tower actually you just need 3 until 4 orb to deactivate this tower as you can see if you bring enough orb to this tower this tower will inactive and you just go to focus to another tower to match its color with its orb and make sure you didn't run too fast because this orb will stop following you but actually if you didn't have enough time you will see this notification and you just need to keep damage this boss until next tower spawn and after you finish this color tower minigame either you success or fail two Kyomar monster will spawn and you just need to kill these two Kyomar monster that spawn and then continue to DPS this boss until next minigame come again as you can see this tower just spawn again and once again you just need to catch this orb and match it with color tower and if your party success to deactivate all tower this notification will appear and this boss will freeze for some period of time and this is your chance to dps this monster as much as you can and after that if this boss have reached less than 50% hp you will go to phase 3 in this phase 3 this boss will not spawn its color tower again but instead that this boss will spawn some large area of lava so make sure you bring this boss at another side of this area to make sure this spawn lava didn't take so much area as you can see if you saw this notification urukios let your storm engulf the earth in flame it means this boss just cast to summon its lava around this location and you just need to go to another area to make sure this boss moving and you didn't step this lava because if you step this lava your character will got so much damage and just keep dps until you see this notification again and go to another location to move this boss again as you can see this boss just spawn its lava for the second time and you just need to keep dps and watch this notification again if you saw this notification again just move to another area again and avoid this lava and keep dps this boss and so on until this boss die and until this boss die you will get this key of the sunless down and you just finish attraction dungeon Falmalkea and this notification will appear and after this boss die your fallen teammates can break surat this time and can get loot from this boss to get key of the sunless down and you just need to go to the middle of this platform to teleport to the last area and then you just need to talk to this yacht's npc on this area and you will finish this quest and take another quest attraction paha paradise and to finish this quest you just need to interact with this statue and click chat and just interact and you will finish this quest and then you just need to talk to black spirit to report this quest and choose this reward and take the last quest attraction Paha time capsule and you just need to interact with this statue to finish this quest and get the final reward and also you can get special weekly quest weekly festi get a moment bestowed by Faha. actually this is weekly quest and if you accept this quest you will consume 10,000 agris favor point when accepting this quest okay just take this quest and you just need to click chat and insert this lucrivia cheapest ruby that you get before at Faha garden and you will finish partial of this quest and then just chat again to insert the key of the sunless down that you get from killing the last boss and after you insert this key you will finish this quest and just take the reward and the last if you already finish this attraction dungeon falmakea questline as i mentioned step by step on this video you will automatically complete all knowledge from faha trade category on journal of attraction and if you already get all these eight knowledge and complete this faha trade knowledge category if you talk with black spirit with any character in your family and go to quest tab and go to if quest tab you will see this quest attraction the last tom if you take this quest 
you will get this Ataraxion the last tomb equipment. Okay, just take this quest and then just resummon your black spirit to complete this quest and get the reward. As you can see, this is the item Ataraxion the last tomb. You can equip this item and this item will replace your slot for your Ixinia or your tom slot on your character equipment and actually you need this item to discover some hidden secret on Ataraxion dungeon in future and I still compile all information to get all knowledge for this Ataraxion dungeon and I will release special guide video for this Ataraxion dungeon knowledge in future because if you learn at least 130 or more knowledge that related for Ataraxion Falmakia only you will get the reward Enhanced scroll plus 130 that you can process it to become file stack plus 130 and also another piece accessory faha down. Okay guys, that's all how to finish this Ataraxion dungeon Falmakea. Special thanks for all player from SEA server that already helped me to clear this Ataraxion dungeon Falmakea and also to help me to get some knowledge from this Ataraxion dungeon Falmakea for making this guide. And if you watch my previous video about global lab update at 30 July 2021, they just announced new Ataraxion co-op dungeon Sikrakea. Actually, this is second area for this Ataraxion co-op dungeon that have Them. And to enter this Sikrakea Ataraxion Co-op Dungeon, you need to finish this Ataraxion Falmakea that I already explained on this video. So make sure you finish this Ataraxion Co-op Dungeon Falmakea. And as you can see, this is some screenshot for environment for Sikrakea Ataraxion Co-op Dungeon that have seat them on its environment. And as they mentioned on last Hedel Ball 2021 event, the final boss for this Sikrakea Ataraxion Co-op Dungeon, we will encounter this Sentilutos. And I will guide you to finish the Sikrakea Ataraxion Co-op Dungeon in next video so stay tuned on Chris Poly channel and special thanks to all my membership for direct support via Patreon Karya Karsa or YouTube membership and also my current member Zekru, Dubia Dut, Lee Cham, Jimmy Snake, Doki, Transester, Aganim Scepter, Renegades X, Licky Cleaners, Aegis to Guild from NA Server, Carlsen, Homi, Preligrium, Ayrton, Suna, Tepan Gaming as Gold Member, and also all my Silver and Bronze Member. Thank you so much for all your direct support. This will make Chris Poly Channel running and growing more faster. If you want to support me directly, I will very grateful and as special thanks, I will put your name on my video depend on your support level. And we notice for some level, there are have some limit. So make sure you didn't get run out for this limited space. And I will put your name on every subsequent video that I release for the duration of your support. And if you want to join my membership to support me directly, you can go to any platform for Patreon, Karya Karsa, and YouTube membership. I already put link for this membership on this video description. Or you can check on top right of this video, I already put card for Patreon link. Okay guys, that's all how to finish Ataraxion Co-op Dungeon Famalkea. Hope this guide can be useful for you. If you like this video, you can like and subscribe to my channel for another guide and update. Thank you for watching. See you next time.